Welcome students. Today we are here to show you some innovative ways and techniques for flower decoration. I myself Manisha and she is Pratima. We both are here to show you how you can beautify your surrounding by using flower decoration. As you all know that flowers are used everywhere be it at home or outside. Wherever you go, whatever occasion it is, flowers are used everywhere to modify and beautify the surroundings. So we here are today going to show you how you can use various flowers and other things to beautify the surrounding and how you can make innovative flower decoration. First we will start with what all equipments you require for making flower decoration. Before we actually start with the arrangement, I would like to discuss about the uh, various materials which are used for making flower arrangement. Uh, there are various types of flowers which are available in market. These are seasonal flowers which are available at a very economical cost. Uh, some of the flowers we have brought for demonstration, these are the flowers. Then uh, there are some filler materials which are used uh, such as uh, these are the leaves which we have uh, which are locally available in your garden or in your uh, plants or pots. So these are some of the filler materials which we can use for filling up spaces. If the flowers are not available in the season, then you can also use these artificial flowers for making your flower arrangement. Along with these, there are various types of vases which are used for making flower arrangement. This is the vertical one which you can take for a taller flower arrangement. Then uh, the vase such as this made up of cane, this is easily available in market at your local florist. Uh, this one is a shallow uh, vase which you can use for a lower depth flower arrangements. Then you will also be requiring a cutter for uh, reducing the size of your flowers or your leaves, scissors. Then some pins are here such as this U pin which are easily available at home for joining two flowers together. And we have the ropes as well to tie the flowers together and the ropes we have used the brown color so that it can blend well with the stem. and the green material of the flowers. Just to add to the names, this flower that we are using it is calendula. This one is the phlox. This one what we are doing is gladuli and this is the chrysanthemum. So these are the flowers and if we talk about the foliage we have this uh, cycus, we have the asparagus and the other are just the foliage that we use to add to the bulk and the natural beauty of the flower arrangement. So let's first begin with our first arrangement that is a vertical arrangement and it uh, and it is a Japanese type of arrangement it known as it is known as ikebana yeah so basically ikebana is a Japanese art of flower arrangement there are three elements which are used in ikebana first is heaven heaven is the tallest one then the middle one is men and the lowest one is earth so to give height to your flower arrangement we are going to use this leaf yes. Manisha yes so, uh, so we will start our arrangement and let's see how it goes. So uh, this is a moss which you can get from your florist and this is a dry moss. So what you can do is uh, if you will use a dry moss it will easily break into uh, parts. So before we actually start with our flower arrangement you have to moist it with the help of water. So this is slightly bigger we are going to cut it uh, according to the size of our moss. And, uh, We also have to make sure that height of your moss should not exceed height of your vase. As you can see Manisha, yes. this is a dry sponge you can say, kind yes. of a sponge form which you have but it's a solidified, solidified one. So we are going to put little water in it to make it moist. It will absorb the water and it will uh, not become soggy but yes very spongy. Yes, like this uh, yes. it will become moist. So we are going to place it in the center and right now uh, I don't have it but you can use a iron wire uh, to fix it at a particular place so that it do, do not get you know uh, it do not break. Then uh, we are going to place. Put it in. 
we're going to give it height with the help of this lead <coughs> and we are going to put it in the center like Pratima, this you can show them how you yeah. have cut the edges of the yeah of okay the yes yes i forgot that uh, basically uh, this is the normal leaf which we took from our garden and uh, because it was quite big and the shape and the edge of this leaf was also uneven so uh, we cut it according to the height which is required and uh, uh, actually about height this is very very important uh, you know property or we can say principle of flower arrangement which we should not forget the height of your flower arrangement should be according to the height of your vase so as you can see there is not much height in this pot it is very shallow pot so we are not going to calculate the height of our flower arrangement according to the height of the vase but actually we are going to take width of is this vase so the height of this flower arrangement should be one and a half times width of this vase accordingly if we are using a taller vase like this like this one so uh, we are going to take height of our flower arrangement height of the tallest flower in our arrangement it should be again one and a half times the height of the was so in this we have taken height of the flower according to the width of the vase so this is the tallest leaf which we are going to take this will signify our heaven state in ikebana flower arrangement then the second stage we are going to depict uh, you can uh, actually cut it according to the height which you want and uh, before you cut it you have to actually see how much height you want and in one go we are not going to cut it on the top from the top because uh, then the flower will get spoiled if that height is lesser than what we actually need so we are going to cut it according to the height which we require and little slant so that it is easier for us to put it in the moss like this we're going to put it this will signify men and then little smaller flowers to signify earth which will be at the base of this flower arrangement and again we are going to cut them according to the height which we need manisha would you like to place yeah, few yeah, yeah. you can take this we have to lower down these flowers a little bit to uh, show a significant gap between the three elements so as you can see this is slightly bigger so maybe we can take it out and you know cut its length a little bit okay so our flower arrangement is somehow like this these are the three elements heaven men and earth so this is somehow it is going to look like this and again now as you can see our moss is visible so when you are making a flower arrangement we also have to consider that this moss should not be visible so to hide this moss we are going to use some foliage like this so we are not going to use it as it is but we are going to take out some part of it and put it here so we will cover the entire moss with this foliage these you can use whatever is available in your garden local material any leaf green leaves which are available you can use them not necessary the same one which we are using you have to use but any any leave you can use for covering your moss some you can also take manisha if you would want 
I will give you And these are very easy to make some little bit of your creativity and imagination and it can turn out to be a beautiful flower arrangement. This is still coming out, so I will decrease height of this flower. Now we are going to show you the vertical arrangement. How you can make a flower decoration with a vertical arrangement. So we have the materials here. Uh, this is asparagus, this is sudarshan and you already know the flowers that we have that is chrysanthemum, this is phlox, this is gradula and this is calendula. So, now we will show you how we can make a vertical arrangement. So, using same flowers and same material, we can remodify our arrangement according to our taste and the occasion for which we are going to make it. So, this time we are going rather than using a shallow uh, vase, we are going to use a vertical vase. So, this time uh, we are going to make height of our arrangement according to the height of our vase. So, uh, this is quite a bigger leaf, so we are going to cut it according to the height of vase, but before that we have to take this moss and moist it with the help of water. We will put them and then we will put the water so that it get moist and meanwhile we can clean our leaves and our flowers so that there could be no grim or the dirt present in it. Yeah, to clean dirt and uh, to enhance its appearance yes. as Manisha said we can clean it with the help of a cloth Yes. and also if you want to make it more glossy you can use little bit of oil to uh, increase its shininess. Yes. So now this has become moist our moss. Now Manisha, we are going to use this leaf yes. and we are going to cut it according to the height of our vase. Yes. So when you are cutting it, you have to make sure to make it a little pointed so that it easily goes into the moss. Pratima, we can cut from the uh, from the top. It is little big. Okay. So again, we are going to cut it. So okay. we are not cutting it in one go, so that we know we do not spoil our leaf. Yes. So we are going to cut it step by step and see it according to the height of our boss. See Manisha now. Yes. Now it is fine? I think so. Yes. Yes, it is looking fine now. We can, we can. We are going to take one more leaf. Yes. We can work with it now. And cut it also in this pointed form. And you can keep the height same or if you want to give some sort of a gradation, then you can decide the height accordingly. But now for our arrangement, we are keeping the height same. Then Manisha. So now this is the foliage or the asparagus that we are going to put in the vertical form. Yes. So you again this also you can see uh, the uh, height. Basically before this uh, we are going to place our flowers yes. and wherever yes. the space is empty we, we are going to fill it with the help of foliage. So this type of arrangement you have to decide on your own that how you want to put what first. So we are just trying what so should. So these are the gladiuli which we are going to use. And before we actually start with the arrangement, uh, one very important thing in our vertical arrangement, this is we are going to make a triangle shaped arrangement. So mm -hmm. in this arrangement or in any arrangement, what we have to be careful is we have to use odd number of flowers. So now we have four gladiolis. 
So instead of using flow four, we have to use three gladiuli because of bringing the balance and harmony in our flower arrangement. So we are going to take this gladiuli to give it a height, and we are going to cut it. I think Manisha, we need to cut it. Yes, yes, a, a I think bit. so. Yes. So first of all, the first one we are going to put it in middle, like this. and the rest two will go accordingly according to the height we're going to lower down the height of our flower arrangement this is slightly uh, lower than the mid one and third one we're going to put this yeah, side like towards this. your side manisha you can if you can help me yeah yeah sure prakala Okay, so this is like one flower we have placed. Now we will go to the next flower, keeping in mind the height, and as well as the color contrast and color combination. We have to also keep in mind that all the colors will blend well, and none of the color will get subsided or get superimposed over the other. So you have to keep that in mind as well. So now we are going to use the third level of flowers, and we are sure. using white. so every color will stand out on its own we have used orange we have used white and we and can add we this tinge of purple color just to add the interest like because like we have the three tones that is going on in the color so we can just add one this uh, purple tinge to add to the focal point or the emphasis you can further prune and uh, trim it according to according to the space where you are putting it whether it is in the center or in the corner So this is like one arrangement that we have made. 